<laughs> well, first up this morning, we are starting in the kitchen. Conversation Kitchen and Bar is serving up delicious food at the base of the Thompson Hotel in downtown Seattle. And their head chef, Chris Ingmeyer, is here cooking with us this Hi. morning. Good morning. Thank you for being Absolutely. here. Absolutely. Pleasure. I have been to Conversations, and I just think it's such a lovely place to be. It's yes. kind of right near Pike Place. It it's is. in the middle of the hustle and bustle. It is. But you also have great food. We do. We absolutely do. So we just launched our new, our new spring menu mm -hmm. at Conversation Restaurant, really highlighting what's coming into season, vegetables, seafood, and we're very excited about it. It's just a great, great atmosphere yes. and, and, you know, small bites and shareables. And that's really what we're trying to push out and really express as who we are. So what are we making today? So who today, are we today? Today is a tar spiced, zatar crusted halibut Ooh. with a fava bean stew and some roasted spring onions. Okay, let's yes, get started. Absolutely. So first, a little oil in your pan All right. for your halibut. This is uh, just coming in season. Okay. It is Alaskan halibut. I was gonna ask, is this locally sourced? Halibut? Absolutely, yep, okay. absolutely. So next, we're gonna start on our fava bean stew. Fava beans. We go a little shallot. Just a little shallot, huh? Yep, a little garlic. And you wanna get the tomatoes in there right away. That, that moisture uh, it really helps get things going. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we're gonna add a little bit of wine. White wine? Yep, white wine. Okay. It really starts sizzling, I yeah, like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's a quick dish, so. It's just little, an itty bitty bit of butter. <laughs> a little bit of butter. Get your fava beans in there. And what are we making with the fava beans? Stew, so we're, Yeah, we're trying to make a quick stew with it. Okay. So. I love it. Yeah. It's just so fresh looking. It is, it really is. I mean, no fava beans are just coming in. Uh, the tomatoes are, are close. I look at the moisture really already starting to appear yep, in that absolutely. from the tomato. And then a pinch of salt. Salt, some pepper. Okay. And how long does the um, halibut here for? How long does it take to cook a nice You know, salad? this size, it's about five to six minutes. Okay. Um, the larger ones you might want to put in the oven to finish off, but we're not going to have to do that today. Okay. So we flip it, a little oil, a little bit more butter in there. It's a tiny bit. Yep. <laughs> I love, actually, I have to say this is, when you cook at home, obviously you don't use that amount of butter, and that's kind of one of the pleasures of going out to eat. Exactly. You know, sometimes get a nice, rich meal. Sometimes it's better not to know how much butter is in your dish. I right? agree. So, no, here, it's okay. It's fine. It is. <laughs> it's absolutely fine with me. So here we're gonna add our roasted spring onions to it. So you roasted those ahead yep, of time. Yeah. So a little oil, salt, and pepper, mm -hmm. and just a simple low roast because you want to cook them through. You don't necessarily want to caramelize them so much. Okay, because they've already kind of been roasted and cooked. They so are, absolutely. Not caramelized, you just do, cooked. You do your work ahead of time, so you're kind of just reheating when it comes to actually serving. What are your tips for cooking fish at home expertly? I know you kind of mentioned searing and then maybe baking off. What are some other ideas? Well, it's really the the hot pan to start and then you kind of cool it down from there you know if you if you start off with a cold pan mm -hmm. you're probably going to be in some trouble Eesh. you know it's going right. to it's going to stick to it and you're probably going to get a little frustrated um, so yeah when in doubt when it's a nice thick piece a nice sear into the oven is going to be the best way to go all right gotcha um i I love the name of the restaurant, Conversation. I just think it's so clever. How did you come up with that title? How was that developed? Well, I think the, really the vision behind it was something approachable, you know, really focusing on what the Pacific Northwest has to offer mm -hmm. and just creating that bond, you know, when, when you're dining with your family or your friends, mm -hmm. really, you know, just having that fun, fun conversations and experience. Yeah. And y'all, when you're driving down at first and you drive by conversation, you see on the front where it says, there's like a sound wave. Exactly. Underneath it, it's exactly. just such a neat, uh, iconic logo. So if you've ever seen that and wondered, now you know. Yeah. Uh, it is like a butter bath. It is. I'm here for this 100%. Right. Look at that. 
What are the other uh, things that you serve at Conversation? I noticed there's some fava beans also shown yeah, here. Yeah, we've got a new, new addition to the menu. It's a fava bean dip with some fresh crudite. We have a sunflower duca that we make, and that's really the base is sunflowers, some sumac, and some thyme in there. And we got some mint on top as well. May I try it? Yeah, absolutely, okay, please. I just want to get a little taste over here. Well, that has a nice is it? light flavor. It's good. Yes. Right? Really going into the spring oh my gosh. and vision for summer. This is really <laughs> His colors are amazing, great. but I don't I've never had anything quite like that. Oh, I would eat this whole thing with a spoon and not share. That is really good and yeah, light absolutely. and springy. So now you're plating the halibut. I am. So really my, the vision behind it is you have your spring onions down, mm -hmm. kind of creating that rim for the plate. Okay. Next, we're going to add just a little bit of this chutney last second. And then your little stew is going to go right in the middle of it. Go right in those little onions. As your base. Yeah, Which is absolutely. such an easy thing to do, but presents so beautifully. Right. What a way to impress your, your guests. <laughs> Exactly. So our fish is there. Turn that off. And there you have it. Yeah, absolutely. A little fresh herbs on top. Oh. In the kitchen, you always got to give a nice wipe on the plate. Oh, chef, that is a thing of beauty. Are. Absolutely. Look at that. Yes. That is really nice. Now, here I go. Here I go. All right, I'm going to get a fava bean in there. All right, as I ask you, after I eat this, you need to talk. Yes. So um, tell us what are some of the other things you have on the menu. Yeah, we have on the menu, you know, we've got a, a New York steak on there, a half chicken on there. We've got a really great menu going. Mm -hmm. Now we're looking forward to the summer, right? The nest. We have the tent right now. Oh, tents the nest is so fun. Tent's coming down. You know, we've got a new menu. The food and beverage team does a great job on, on the drinks. You know, we fire up the grill. You know, we've got our courtyard and the conversation mm -hmm. where we have some activations area. there. Mm -hmm. You know, next month we have a Mark Ryan wine dinner. So we've got a lot going on in the hotel. So there's always something going on. So it's such a great place just to bring uh, guests who are visiting and also for us locals to go and really experience a nice night out in Seattle. So, yes. Chef, I have to say, you allowed me to take two bites of this, yes. which means I really liked it. Good. So thank you so much yeah. for sharing thank this. Thank you for having me. Can't wait to come visit you all at Conversation. Thank you so much. Hotel. Absolutely. All 